Hello everybody. My next camera is kind of a placeholder. I'm waiting on some uh, film to come back from being developed and scanned. Our next camera is the Pilot Dash Cam. This is a model CL3022WK. It's from about 2016 according to the version 1.0 firmware and the date inside the PDF manual. Uh, the box says that it does 720p interpolated, uh, but the menu on the camera itself uh, also lists 1080p, but it still just records in 720p. They don't say what it's interpolated from, but I'm pretty sure that it's a VGA sensor, 640 by 480. It does stills in VGA, 1.3 meg, 2 meg, and 3 meg. And these are some of my test shots, and this is why I think it's interpolating from VGA, because the VGA is the clearest, and then as you go up in resolution, the files get bigger, but the pictures get worse. So it has uh, infrared uh, emitters, and it has a night mode that you can select on the menu, or once you power it up, let me power it up here, and it goes this way because it's meant to suction cup to the inside of your windshield. Um, most of my tests I've actually used it in this orientation. Hopefully my notes flapping around aren't going to make too much noise. The infrared actually works pretty well. I mean, it's still you know, low res, but uh, you, it can see in complete darkness. It also has motion detection, which I used. It's a little iffy. It'll start recording and then stop just for no apparent reason. It also does loop recording because it's meant to be a dash cam. Um, I've read, I've never used that. I've read that that's kind of glitchy too. And then it has a G-force sensor in here. But one of the fixes for uh, it stopping recording for no apparent reason is to turn off the G-force sensor. If you have one of these and it does stop recording, I found another YouTube video about that specific problem with this camera. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, it's a pretty complete kit. It has this suction cup mount. Uh, it comes with a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. The manual. This shorty data cable, I'm running off of a battery bank right now because the internal battery is pretty feeble. It's really just meant to be enough to finish recording if you get in a wreck. Uh, it has uh, this very long, getting bugs on me again, uh, cable. It's meant to plug into your uh, car's 12-volt uh, power socket. One interesting thing about this is that it records really bright. Those test images were both at minus 2 EV. It does have exposure compensation, plus and minus 2 EV in third stop steps. So that's kind of cool, you know, if you don't mind the low resolution. So is this a digital trash cam? Yes, it is. But can it also be useful? Also yes. Um, it was nesting season when I was first testing this guy out. So we've been getting the really expensive, uh, a lot of fat in it, bird food, and something was getting into it uh, at night. So I set up uh, this on the battery bank uh, with this kludge. Um, the motion sensing saw some shadows. I think it was a car going by turned on, didn't get anything useful before this went dead. So I didn't get a picture of it, but I had another kludge where I just ran a really long extension cord, a little USB brick, and powered it that way, and caught this video of the culprit. Because I had this thing mounted, you know, this way, 
I had to flip it in post, but that was pretty easy to do. I just popped it into iMovie to do that. Um, a little later, uh, we got uh, some stills of the raccoon. Turns out it's a nursing mama raccoon, so heck with it. I'm not going to do anything to keep her from getting into the good fatty food. She needs it as much as the birds do. So anyway, this thing turned out to be useful for a $10 camera that my father-in-law picked up for me at uh, one of the big box stores. I think he paid like $9.99 plus tax for it. So just being able to catch that uh, video of the raccoon, I think it was probably worth it. So um, I'm on to the next camera as soon as I uh, get my film back from processing. And I will see you then.